Hello, hello, Internet. Well, big thanks to... A little shout-out here in the beginning of this to Gary. Old Gary Simmons. Old Speedy Tech. Recommended this app uh, for weight balance. Um, I noticed... It's not super obvious, but the weight balance was shifting on and off every time my hands came in, and the weight balance went one way, and then my hands went out, and then it exposed differently. So, anyway, we're not here to talk about weight balance and camera apps, although I'm using Movie Pro on my iPhone if you care. Um, so, if it works, it's worth the six bucks. If it doesn't work, well, I can just uh, cancel it. So, uh, anyway, what do we got today? Big old shout out to Eric Gonzalez over at uh, the Thrax CDC team. Um, Good guys, and um, well, we'll bring out the other one uh, in a minute here, and we'll talk about that. But he reached out to me about wanting to review this, and I said, sure. I kind of like to look at this, and just with kind of where I'm at, I don't have a lot of desire to go out and buy a lot of spinners. My just collection's pretty solid, um, but there's certainly a lot of spinners out there I've liked, and it's the holidays, so I'm trying to, you know, I went pretty crazy with what I spent early on in the spinner game, so... Uh, but I did really like the look of this, um, even more so than the full-size Thrax. There was something about this mini size that I've, I'm have i starting to really appreciate mini bars. Ooh, look at her. So he asked me about what metal he wanted to send me, and I said, uh, surprise me. So he surprised me with a little bit of brass, which is actually nice because the other one that I have, ah, let's just bring it in, uh, is stainless steel. So let's talk about this. So... Um, first and foremost, I feel like a lot of times I'll say that and I'm way into my video when I say that and we're not really at first and foremost time, but first and foremost here, um, when I bought this, I guess we should bring this in and talk about this one a little bit. Um, when I got this, I went for the machine finish. They hadn't, I didn't, they didn't seem like they had offered a lot of machine finish before. And, um, I just, I wasn't, I've never really been a huge fan of the media blasted. So I got this in the machine finish and you'll remember me saying there were a little bit of sharp edges here. Um, and it just seemed a little unfinished and that's because it was a machine finish and i don't think they you know the, the machines that they're using don't get the exact same type of finishes um that i think some other machine finishes get like you look at something like a portal for example um you know that's got where's my portal ah, here's my tri portal um like this is essentially machine finish and these edges aren't sharp with any burrs and there was a little bit on this guy right so you know i think you know rightfully so there was a little bit of disappointment between me and then a little bit of disappointment between some of the people that saw the video and saw the price tag and had concerns about that but with just a tiny bit of work i do really appreciate the machine finish so I don't really hold that against them um but i kind of wanted to say that um and get that out of the way first because um, i ended up getting the media blasted version and their media blasting is something else entirely so i don't think it, it was flawless out of the box let's just say that i feel like i might have put one yeah that's that's something for me i'm not sure what and that might be like the only one whoops bump the camera uh, but this is like butter this is so ridiculous, the machine finish they got in here. And I have an idea for what I want to do to kind of customize this guy, but I don't. I didn't want to do that until I got this video out because, one, I wanted to show it to you as it comes, especially since it was sent to me to review. I want to see it in the way that you got it. If it was something I spent my money on, I don't feel kind of obligated to necessarily show it off as I got it. Um, but in this particular case, again, since it was sent to me, I want to show it off as I got it. Um, and this finish is, this media blasting is so fine. It's so smooth. Um, it's almost like a polish. It's crazy. I mean, in fact, you can see, let's see if we can get this right. Yeah, see, you can see very slightly the machine swirls, the machine marks in here through the through the blasting, um, right? The edges are all still very acute, like a machined edge, just ever slightly rounded. So now I kind of especially see what they're talking about, right? Like I had those sharp edges here that I sanded down just a little, but you don't have that issue here. And these bridges, I don't know, there's there's so many cool things with the design of this guy. It's funny how this was sort of like a trademark thing of theirs, these little bridges. Um, but they really actually do stuff. They really actually get in there. Um, and it's almost like, it almost works like a chamfer because you're just catching those two corners. But um, let's kind of look at the design and the geometry of this guy a little bit. First of all, see what I'm saying? I say first of all, and we're, we're definitely not at a first of all situation. But um, these buttons, I thought were, I don't know, they look smaller on here. Um, but they're the same size as the other Thrax buttons, so we'll just get that out of the way. Um, they're starting to patina a little bit. I've been jamming on this for like the two days that I've had this um, quite a bit, really enjoying it. Um, uh, so we're starting to get almost like an antique patina, almost like a... Uh, I don't have a good example sitting by. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess I do. Um, almost like a... a um, 
you know, sort of like a, a like a blackened in some of the recesses just a little bit and then wearing off. Um, obviously not to the degree of something that's brass blacked. And we'll put you over here and give you a little spin. Um, but, um, yeah, it's starting to get just a little bit of texture in here, yet the body isn't patinaing really at all. Um, and especially with something that's media blasted, you usually expect that pat to patina a little bit faster, but, uh, it's just looking gorgeous. I think I was starting to say more than once, but never got to it. These bridges, I think look stunning, uh, cause look, they're just like a straight line essentially through there. Uh, and I just think that looks... Uh, I don't know. There's something about that to me that I really find appealing. Um, there's no extra weights uh, or extra cutouts in these weights. Um, so it's a very simple looking, classy design. Um, you know, this to me is almost kind of like the epitome uh, or the epitome, as it were, of the bow tie shape. Um, this is really just, I, I think it, I feel like, you know, there was the, the, the dapper and the whole Thrax thing way, way back in the day. Um, and there's probably someone else that's like, maybe was the originator of like a bow tie design but I, like this is like refining it and refining it and refining it you don't have to be the first if you do it the best you know sort of like apple right everybody can complain about oh so and so did this before apple right like you see the iphone 10s oh so and so did did facial recognition yeah well it sucked you know um anyway that's neither here nor there um so yeah so you don't have to be the first if you're the best um you know there's other bow tie shapes out there but this to me and i haven't had i haven't used their full size um but i have you you know something like this for example i know it's not really like the same thing but this is a bow tie shape right spins flicks really well really nice but it's not i don't know this is this is kind of where it's at so let's start talking about this guy a little bit shall we so um how does it fidget uh fidgets fantastic like a dream this thing is stunning this thing is amazing um, it is small, it is light, it is fast, it's everything I would expect of something like this in like a bar form. Now this being a try is super smooth. Let's actually weigh them because I haven't weighed it yet um, despite fidgeting with it quite a bit. So it's definitely a relatively light spinner, it's not super heavy. Yeah, 60 grams. And this is probably in the neighborhood. Yeah, 64.5 grams. So it's very similar. It's funny, and I, I need to do a video on this to talk about kind of bars and tries a little bit. Um, but the topic that's going to come up, let's move this in here. Uh, the topic that's going to come up is despite being very similar shaped arms, a little thicker, a little heavier, but similar weight, these feel so entirely different. And it's because, you know, when they're spinning smooth side by side, if you're really careful and don't move them, boy, maybe they actually do feel very similar. But as soon as you start moving them, right, you get that character, you get that bar judder, which is why bars are so great. They have so much character and so much personality. Every spinner is, you really feel the spinner, and that's why I really appreciate bars these days. So um, these buttons in the brass, I think it's a similar finishing style, right? It's sort of like a machined brushed kind of finish but these just have a little bit extra texture um, because of the brass material they provide a ton of grip like just once again some of the best buttons in the game like these Thrax buttons are just where it is at um, let's look under the hood for a second shall we I haven't taken the bearing out of this and I don't feel the need to um, I I think their last one was glued uh, but I didn't really see any glue in here, so this very well may be a press fit. I'll try to remember to look on their website and see if it's like a press fit, or maybe see if I can ask Eric and get that answer before I upload it. But um, whether it's glued or whether it's press fit, it's, I mean, the tolerances seem well enough where I'm not sure if it matters. But just the, the lasering on here uh, just looks really nice, brass, 30. Um, and then also, I like that they do this. Are we going to be able to get it to focus that close? No, but see right there, right by the 30, it's got Thrax on the outer race. So it's a hybrid ceramic bearing that's in here, um, and out of the box, doing nothing to it other than spinning it. Now this is, again, this is a little spinner, it's light, um, you know, we've got some cutouts here, so we've got the weight kind of put in the right places, um, and you're actually, I might need to clean this um, bearing since jamming on a little bit, because this was like one of the smoothest bearings like but still has that hybrid ceramic feel that i've ever had like i've seen you know when i got this spinner you might have remember remember me mentioning um that i had some issues with the bearing that came in and, and they sent me a replacement which is nice to them um uh, and the replacement one's pretty good it's what's in there um there's nothing wrong with it it didn't strike me as like the most amazing bearing but it was a good bearing right there was nothing wrong with it but this bearing something special about this bearing and this one in particular so um i don't know if i just got unlucky before 
I definitely got unlucky the first time, but this one that's in here is just amazing. Where I don't know if they've changed their bearing game up between these two, um, but this is stunning. So I got a six minute and 34 second table spin out of the box, no cleaning. And I got a nine minute and 14 second vertical spin on this guy, um, holding it in my hand as well. So not even using like a clamp to keep it steady, not doing any bit of cleaning, just out of the box. So um, just really, really excellent bearing feels really smooth got some good hybrid ceramic feedback and feel and especially you really feel that feedback on a bar when you turn it and this is like one of my favorite things to do is to give this like a just crank on it just give it a super fast spin and then turn it side to side you get this ringing oh it's just so good it's so good. Um, the finish, again, on it, like I was saying, it's like butter. It just it feels so good in hand. It's it's great for uh, gentle flicks, um, but it really works for preloaded flicks. And you guys know that's my style, right? I, I love a good, strong preloaded flick. There's some spinners that are just nice to so just caress and spin. Boy, we're getting kind of some all-stars. We're getting a lot of airtime here. You know, like this kind of a spinner, it works really well for, for slow fidgeting. I don't know if it's the best slow fidgeter, but I feel like it's one, especially probably since Fabian talked about it, it's one that you kind of just bring up when you talk about slow fidgeting. But um, this guy just works when you crank on it. Buttons, again, feel feel fantastic, everything about it. Um, getting in there, again, these little bridges, despite looking like they probably wouldn't do a damn thing, actually do quite a bit. This you know, it would probably honestly work just as well if they weren't there. Um, but they, there's something about having that little bit there, especially on like the flick. Um, especially with a preloaded flick, you're kind of way on the outside catching that corner. So you're not really using it too much. Um, but, uh, man, this thing is fun to jam on. It's fast. It's responsive. It feels like it wants to be where you want it. Right. I always refer to the Valkyrie, right? That was sort of like the big, like, Hey, where the hell is this spinner? You go to spin it, and it's like, I can't find it to grab it, to, to fidget with it. This is always there. Um, just a treat. Just an absolute treat. This is a gem. Um, so I'm really, really excited and really happy that they sent me this. So I've got some ideas. Oh, yeah, since we're looking at it, we're getting some cool um, kind of reflection. The spin profile on this guy is really cool. So you get, you know, just this the way everything's smooth in this raised weight. Whoops. You get just, uh, it's just a really fun, really nice to look at, really simple, well-executed design. And you guys know me, I'm a fan of simple, well-executed, well-executed things. So, um, you know, I think we, you know, we especially early on with this guy had maybe some concerns about the price of, you know, what you're getting for American made versus what you can get, you know, looking at like this versus the very dapper, you know, Trithax versus very dapper argument, um, but especially seeing this, seeing the finish that they put on it, there is no question. Like, this is what we're talking about when we're talking about that, you know, not even necessarily U.S. made, but just when you're talking about that precision quality. Yes, it does happen to be made in the U.S. And yes, that's going to just a fact in and of itself is going to cause some issues with the price. Um, I shouldn't say issues, but like some increase in the price, but absolutely well worth it. So um, I believe these go, I'm not sure what's in stock right now, actually. Um, but I believe these go for when they are in stock um, in the... 110 neighborhood i believe again i'm spoiled right get yourself a, a youtube channel which records a tons of videos spend thousands and thousands of dollars of spinners and yes you too might get sent a free hundred dollar spinner here and there so um i should say the balance on this guy is almost perfect now it does go off depending on which side you're on it seems like one corner of one arm is a little heavier so one side looks like it goes a lot farther but it goes real slow. Again, this is like a really excellent bearing. And it, it just kind of like stops. It doesn't feel like it's got any any wobble. It feels like dead smooth on my fingers. Like I'm not really feeling any wobble at all. Just a tiny bit of like, you know, bar judder. But again, that judder on this has so much character. Again, that's what I love about bars is all that character. Um, and especially this one and being brass and bring, being that nice um, hard hybrid ceramic if you hold it dead still, right, it's pretty smooth, pretty quiet. Again, I'm sure you're going to be hearing it a lot louder in video than I hear it in person, but you move it back and forth, and it just starts to sing to you. It's just like, la da 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 It's the month, D-O-double-G, Snoop Dogg, da 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 You know I'm mobbing with a D-R-E. Anyway, 
that's probably not what it's singing. It's probably singing something more like, If anybody can tell me what that's from, props. Because I probably didn't do it justice. But I think I got it well enough that you would probably be able to identify it. So um, someone's going to be able to tell it. My mom and my brother would probably know that. Look at the spin profile on that, would you? Just excellent. Just excellent. So I have some ideas for what I want to do to customize this. And I almost, I'll be honest, I almost don't want to. I've got some just like what I feel would look amazing on this spinner. But at the same time, like this finish is so on point. If you're someone like me that doesn't really like Media Blasted, this was going to change your mind, I think. Because if you don't like Media Blasted, it's something about that texture. And it's probably, you probably prefer something like a smoother, polished, machine finished, um, maybe a brush finish. I think, you know, for me, Media Blasted and brushed feel very similar. I prefer a smoother, I prefer a smoother, smoother texture. Um, but again, this is like, I was spinning in the car in the work in the way to work today and literally i was like this is like a stick of butter it's ridiculous how like smooth and like i don't, I don't want to say slippery because it feels like it's got plenty of grip but the slipperiness of a stick of butter it's like it's it's butter baby so um unlike the smoothness of the bearing being all butter 100 percent butter no margarine this is the smoothness of the finish is 100 percent butter no margarine and it just looks good I just want to keep showing it off. And it looks real close in the camera to what I'm seeing in person with this light. You're getting a little bit of the flickering there um, that I don't really see. But, like, look at that. Just perfect. Um, negatives. Get out of here. I got nothing negative to say. Uh, maybe, you know, this, the very slightest bit of imbalance. You know, when the arm's coming up that way, it just kind of wants to come over and settle the other way. Um, but if I set it up like this... Right, stays almost dead perfect. So that usually tells me that's probably more with the hole for the bearing being off just ever so slightly. Um, you know, we're talking fractions of fractions of fractions of millimeters, um, you know, to do something like that. Which may be unrelated, but, um, you know, if, if we're here this long and you're sticking with me, um, here, let me give you the recommendation. Two awkward thumbs way up, way, way up. Um, you're thinking about getting one of these. It's in the budget for you. Uh, then you got to pick it up. You got to get it. Like it's absolutely stunning and again you know the the buttons alone are almost worth the cost of entry right i think they sell their buttons separately um for like 35 bucks um and they're just fantastic buttons so um and you know what i did before i recorded this video i was actually gonna you know you've heard me talk and i'm really enjoying you know switching up look at all the look at all the the, the boys that came to party you know switching up the buttons appreciation appreciating the look of the buttons switched up like that where is my Hummingbird, go! Uh, anyway, we don't need it. You get the idea. Um, but these, I preferred the buttons. I switched them up, and I was like, no, they look better with their own buttons on there. So um, it's not 100% across the board, the case. But um, speaking of the balance, uh, what spinner... Old uh, average Singaporean Ben was looking at a spinner, and it, was, it did the same sort of thing, where it looked like it was balanced. You pick it up, and it spins over and kind of stops almost upside down. Um, you know, so normally when you see something in balance, it's one of the arms is heavier. So one arm just kind of wants to fall down. This one actually kind of wants to do that a lot. It's just, it's so close to balance that it kind of doesn't really want to just like completely settle off. But, um, anyway, this is a great example of, you know, when a spinner is in balance and it's the hole that's off center, up or down, um, that's, what's going to cause that issue. So if the hole goes up, um, what essentially happens is you've got more mass equally on both arms coming down. Um, so what happened with this particular spinner, this original focus, this hole was like a fraction of a millimeter up too high. So it essentially put more weight on the bottom. So I sanded the bottoms off of these arms and that got the balance pretty close to perfect. It's not perfect, um, but it's but it's much closer. So um, whereas this one, the hole was centered, so it didn't have that sort of an issue. So um, just kind of uh, something I wanted to bring up when it comes to balance. So if you are testing your balance and it seems like both arms, it's balanced with, you know, the both arms in the same position, but they always want to swing to one particular way, um, that's, a, that's a hole, that's a milling issue um, with that. So, And you can kind of see that on this guy, too, if you really look. I'm not sure how much I polished it off, but if you look on this side, right, you don't really see these cuts along the side, but you see them there, right? 
because everything was kind of shifted this way a little bit, which then put more weight on the bottom. So we sanded the points off and then we get a little asymmetrical spinner that spins nice and balanced. I haven't talked about the focus a lot. I don't think it's in stock anymore. I don't know what that guy's doing, um, which is all well and good, right? He had a, he had a good run. If he's, if he's all good and doing what he's doing, still fantastic spinners. So boy, we got a lot of spinners out today. We just kept grabbing them. So anything else we want to grab over here? Oh yeah. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's not what we're about. Um, mini thrax um absolutely get it a a a a plus spinner so 20 minutes and 23 seconds right now i think that's plenty so uh, i'm gonna leave you with some kisses internet mm -hmm. slow it down